Why are you so tall? You're literally about as tall as the knight himself. Did you fall out of night school, my good sir? I think he fell out of night school. What's up, guys? We're back with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And today we're starting off with the Fuseuses. My good sir. Why is your head so tiny? And why is your eye so big? Is it Zeus's or Zeus I? I just completely lost my intro. Let's just get started. So we're just gonna send a barrage of enemies at them. I kind of had them spread out just cause I know the Zeus is like to, you know, chain lightning bolts through a crowd. I think I might've gone a little overboard for this one. My ballista I think took out like three Zeus's at once and missed the rest. I also threw some snakes in there for some distraction. I think all my snake throwers are dead though. Uh, Mr. Ballista, a shot would be nice at not the same Zeus. Um, Ballistas? Ballistas, please. You gotta help me out here. Thank you. I'm not sure if Zeus is technically supposed to fly. I also don't think his leg is supposed to bend that way. But we're just gonna move on. You know, I'm getting real tired of this wall. Mr. King, can you please get off the wall? I'm kind of, what is wrong with your leg? What is that? Did you put on the wrong pair of pants today? Are those pants? I don't know. You know what? No, I just, I'm not up for the the wall thing today. So archers, archers, please, please get him down. Take him off the wall, please. And thank you. Okay, a couple more hours would have been nice. Oh, 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 he's on the ground. He's on the ground. Get him. Don't get that close. No, don't get that close. <gasps> What just happened? What, 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 what just, what, what, what? I can't move. Why can't I move? What, what, what? <laughs> okay. Well, I can't move the camera, but it does look like we took out the king right before my archer stepped off the roof. So that's good. That's good. So this level's called Odds Against You. The only thing that sucks about this level is I'm only allowed to use one squire. So how does that work? Do I need to tactically place the squire somewhere till win? Or is my squire just that good? My squire is just that good. Confuzzled now? All right, Fluffy, you've betrayed me for the last time. Not only have you betrayed me and gone to the other team, but you are letting the halflings ride you. How dare you? Send out the whole clan and take these majestic riders out. Oh, they're not all that majestically riding them. They're just kind of like falling off their backs. Spear throwers are tactically put you in the back to take out the uh, Fluffies, if you could please do that. Everyone else, just cause a diversion and take out the halflings. We don't need them. Any day now, spear throwers. You got two left, and I think all the halflings are gone. Uh, stoners, it would help if you actually hit the mammoth. That would help out a lot. Thank you. Which puts us right back to the wall for final destination. Mammoth. You know, I thought this was getting ridiculous, but now it's, it's ridiculous. And because of the rules I put in place, I can only use the faction that my enemies are using, or the factions before that. So that means since Fluffy is part of the first faction, I can only use the first faction. So Spear Throwers, can you please get the mammoth off of the freaking roof? Please and thank you. Oh, 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 he, oh, he's a majestic mammoth. He's a majestic Fluffy. Spear Throwers, don't get close. Please just keep your distance and make a pin cushion. Pin cushioning the mammoth is what I need and what I want. Thank you. Finish the adventure campaign. Wait, we just finished the campaign? No, no! The end, a collection of fun and interesting levels. Thank you for playing through the adventure of weird battles. Yeah, okay. And I guess that brings us to the next challenge, next campaign, which is the challenge. Uh, uh, something like that. We have ice archers and friends. So I see we have some berserkers, some headbutters, and ice archers, huh? 
So I say we send some squires, a couple hoplites, and some archers at them and see what that does for us. Okay, the berserkers jump. My hoplites worked as a perfect distraction against the berserkers and my archers will hopefully just rain down arrows from the sky. And it would be nice if they took out their archers because that would help out a lot. Oh, my distraction slash burn of forces did not work out all that well. You please take them out before they jump into your group. Please and thank you. Did that berserker just kill itself by jumping? I think that berserker just killed itself. My archer just went off the edge of the board. That wasn't a good strat. Okay. All right, we're going to bring our farming faction into this, and we're going to get a couple farmers in there and a few potion sellers, hopefully to distract, while our archers can then pick off the enemies. So far, the distracting is working. Potion sellers are so good. No, don't get taken out, potion sellers. No, you were supposed to protect the archers. Oh, so far, the archers are doing good. As long as they don't get frozen, they can just have to pick out the ice archers. Ice archers shoot slower than you. I'm pretty positive. You just got to hit them. You're missing them. You just got it. Okay, there you go. You got that one. And that one, just one left. One left. Just right to the gut. Cut shot with the arrow. Perfect. Which then brings us to mixing it up. So we have the protector. No, the shield bearers. The spear guys the hoblites, and the snake archers. You're still using the same faction. You didn't really mix anything up. Whatever, whatever. Well, I think if they're gonna mix it up, we'll mix it up too. So we have our shield bearers, our farmers, our archers, and we had a couple uh, um, squires over there. Um, I don't know which side's doing better because half my units went over to the other side. Their units are going to come in behind us. And they have snakes. Not the silly snakes. Silly snakes are bad when they're not on your side. Uh, Squire, I'm going to need you to pull your own weight, please and thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, that didn't work. Okay, different tactic. How about we try for quality over quantity? We'll send in a Zeus and a Chieftain. Zeus, if you could please just take out the masses. Thank you, my good sir. Now if you could just slowly walk around that corner and not get ambushed. Or throw your lightning bolt straight into the wall. Thank you, Chieftain, for saving Zeus. Thank you. You were perfect backup. You got that one kill. Great buddy in a match. Which then leads us to Knight and his friends. So I see he's got his uh, bards, his squires. That squire is like eight foot tall. And then we have healers in the background. And that healer's shorter than the rest. Why are you so tall? You're literally about as tall as the knight himself. Did you fall out of night school, my good sir? I think he fell out of night school. So we're going to send him against our forces. We have a farmer and friends. So we have a farmer and potion sellers. <laughs> Let's see how well this goes. Oh, I forgot the healers heal. Farmer, you're doing God's work. You're doing God's work. <laughs> Potion sellers, if you could just throw a few more potions, that would be amazing. Yes, just keep the distractions going. You're doing amazing. Please hit the one that's coming for you. Please and... Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, my good friends. Knight, if you could just continue walking off into the distance, that would be amazing. Potion sellers, you're not doing good at keeping the squires off of you. Maybe I should have lumped them all together. Here comes the knight, guys. You need to do something about the knight. There you go. Okay, the knight's getting close. And so is that squire, guys. Guys, you, you're getting a little overrun. I'm not liking your odds here. Well, you took out a squire. That's good. Um, if you guys could please just take out the squires and then aim for the healers, that would be amazing. This is probably not going to work. I don't even know who's still alive and who's dead. That guy's alive. I, he kind of hit himself, though. How is it that the healers can still heal when they're confused? I don't like these odds. Did he just take out all of the healers in one shot? Potion seller, don't don't think of anything I said about bad towards you. It was about the other potion sellers. You're doing God's work, my man. Just keep hitting him. I had no faith in this plan. Is this plan gonna work? Where are you going, my good sir? You can't climb the building. You need it. You, you, you can't, you can't, you can't go up there, my good sir. 
My good sir, that's off limits. You're not allowed up there. I don't know where you're going. Sir, that's a wall. It's actually a roof, but it's kind of like a wall. Yeah, it's... It's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's just... Oh, God. Did you just trip on nothing, my good sir? Oh, right to the shoulder. Just... This is hard to commentary. And, sir, that is an actual wall. You can't go into the wall. Oh, gosh. Oh, that one was right to the head. I'm sorry. My potion seller has some pretty good aim. Sir, that's a corner. You're stuck in a dead end. Potion seller, please don't get that close. Oh, God, he's going to get close. It's probably not going to end well. Okay, thank goodness you got a little bit of distance. Not that close. Not that close. Potion seller, not that close. Please and thank you. You... Took yourself out because you hit the tree. No. No. Okay, what if we try instead of a farmer and friends, how about we try halfling and friends? Halflings, get in there. You're, you're doing amazing. Just get on in there and cause a distraction so the potion sellers can start confusing the masses. Yes, even you. It doesn't really matter because I think you're confused half the time anyways. Yep, just lay down and... I guess get defeated by a squire. Potion sellers, I need you to hit them and confuse them. Not the same one repeatedly. I need you to hit like all of them. Like multiple of them. They're kind of getting in a little close. I'm, I'm not liking the knight. Okay, thank you. Knight, go back over to your wall. You can go back to the corner. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Healers, I don't think that your healing is going to get rid of the confusion. Okay, Squires, you're doing good. Just confuse him, get him to walk away, and then go take out the healers. No, let him walk away. You gotta let him walk away. You're not listening to me, are you? Oh, oh, you guys got the healers. That's good, you got one healer left. Can you please hit the healer? The dude with the staff. Thank you, thank you. Now, Mr. Knight, I don't want you to go back into that corner. I really don't. Yeah, if you guys can just keep him stuck on that branch. God, they just like pegged him straight in the head. No, I wanted you to get stuck on the branch so my potion sellers don't accidentally take themselves out again. Why does he keep going into that corner? <laughs> Please don't get that close. I don't need a repeat of this. Okay, at least you walked around the branch. Okay, he's getting unconfused. Please hit him. You guys don't need to be that close. You don't need to be that close. Oh, God. This isn't good. I don't know how much life he has, but I have one potion seller back again. And he's actually trying to put up a fight. I don't like this. No. No. Hey, we're gonna revamp that idea. We're just gonna go with two potion sellers and a catapult. The catapult should definitely be able to get some, some rounds down range and take out a group. Which might help out my potion sellers. My two of them. Perfect. Just hit the healers. We took out the knight. Yes. You guys are doing amazing. And take out the healers. Yes. Okay, you got one left, I think. Now now the healers are only healing a bard. This, this should be easy work for us. The bard doesn't attack. The healers don't attack. I think we might have just taken out the bard. There we go. We just need a little bit of a heavy hitter on the team. So this mission is called Bullhorn. I see we have protectors, clubbers, and then a couple chieftains in the background, but I don't see a bull. So why is it called Bullhorns? I don't know, we'll just send our own units at them, right? I think that sounds like a good idea. So we got our own protectors, our own clubbers, a bone mage, and some spear throwers. And hopefully this works, because it's not like most of my plans don't work. Okay, we got a we got a battle off between the, the clubbers and oh goodness, thank you, Bone Mage. Don't get taken out. Uh spear throwers, please and thank you. Spear throwers, spear throwers, spear throwers, I need you to take out the masses. You took out all the little guys. I needed you guys to hit the chieftain. The chieftain would have been a good target. And you missed every single shot but one. You guys were probably thrown with your eyes closed again, weren't you? Seems like a common trope. I think we had a good strat. We just need another bone mage in the mix. There we go. Bone mage, just 
get in there and get some butt puckering action. Oh, they did not protect the bone mage whatsoever. That's not, damn, the bone mage took himself out. And that bone mage actually did some good work. Please take out the chieftains. The chieftains are your priority. Please and thank you for missing every single shot. Why do I even try with the spear throwers? Miss. That was a hit. Oh my god. Spear throwers hurt my head. All right, how about we just get rid of the spear throwers altogether and we go with a couple more uh, protectors and one more bone mage. This might actually work, hopefully. Bone mage, I just need you to not get hit by that clover. Don't get hit by the yourself. Okay, bone mages, bone mages, bone mages, you are my like, my saving grace right now. I need you, you can take yourself out. I just need one of you. I needed him to hit that guy first though. I feel like this might work. This might work. Okay, maybe if we consolidate our forces a little bit more, this tactic will work. Because we're going to get everyone bundled up together in a giant mass for the bone mages to just take out. That bundle of mass didn't work all that well. This is actually... Oh, God, did you see that bone mage take that club right to the base? Okay, <laughs> redo. <laughs> Okay, so our bone mages need some backup themselves. So we're gonna get everyone clustered together, get the initial attack in, have their forces come in, and then we'll have the reinforcements come in to cause a little bit more of a distraction so the bone mages can take themselves out. I think I have a clubber still alive. Fluffy, can you do anything? Cause I'm running out of ideas here. I need you to just take out the masses and hopefully my spear throwers will take out a couple. Go Fluffy, you can do this. I have no hope for the spear throwers. I think the spear thrower just hit Fluffy. Oh, dang it. Yeah, there goes my other spear thrower. Bye spear thrower, you were, you were a good comrade. Thank you for distracting those few so Fluffy can get a good hit in. You can give up now, Mr. Spear Thrower. Thank you. Thank you, Fluffy. You're the best, even though you've betrayed me. But you know what, guys? I think we're going to call it there for today with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And we'll pick up next time with Scary Crows. And if... That didn't take them all out. I was expecting all the Hoblets to die... Oh gosh, don't leave me with a suspense if you're gonna win this. But if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon down below this video. And if there's any games you wanna see me play in the future, leave a comment down below of what game you wanna see me play. Hoblets, you're not supposed to, Hoblets. Why do I keep calling them Hoblets? It's Hobbits and they're halflings. My brain hurts sometimes. <laughs> if there's any games you want to see me play, leave them down in the comments and I will try to get to it when I have some free time. Bye, I love yous. Freaking halflings.